it's really hot guys you know I'm already hot the weather is very hot we are all hot here you know tuminit na rin talaga ulo ko sa'yo joke lang Keep all your game as and lost, as and lost. We are finally alongside at the port of BIK, Iran. For almost two months stored on our ship, our soya bean cargo will finally be discharged. Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. We are finally alongside here at the port of BIK here in Iran and I am just waiting for the drop surveyors to check the total quantity of our cargo. So we'll be staying here for about 10 days minimum and I am going to show you our discharging operation. So para magstay yung jowa mo, magstay ka rin sa video na to. Wow. Kaya tapusin mo yung panunod, Oh no! Sige ka! <laughs> Joke lang guys! The surveyors have arrived and we have conducted initial draft survey to determine the total quantity of our cargo. After the survey, they then instructed us to open all of our cargo holds for inspection. And we have encountered a little bit of a problem opening one of our cargo holds, which is normal. It's been closed for almost two months. It's not that big of a deal. And we have the best crew on our ship. Sa panahon ngayon, discarte ang labanan, hindi pagwapuhan. Tama ba ako, girls? <laughs> Sana nga. So the inspection is already done, guys. And we are going to start now the discharging operation. In this particular berth, they are using two evacuators which uses vacuums to unload the cargo and put it right to the trucks who will deliver it to the storage area. This cargo is food, so it has to be well protected from dirt Pest, rain, and other contaminants that would destroy the cargo. After a few days of discharging operation using the evacuators, they are experiencing difficulties unloading the cargo as they say, it is harder than usual, and the evacuators are not effective. So, nahihirapan silang magdiskarga guys using this uh, vacuum evacuators kasi matigas daw yung kargada. So, hirap yung evacuator na sipsipin yung cargo namin. So, they have decided to transfer our vessel to another berth which uses grab for discharging operation. So, when it's hard, it's better to grab it than to sip it. I'm only talking about the cargo operation guys. 6 o'clock in the afternoon, we are scheduled for shifting to another berth.
After we are safely shifted to bird number 20, they immediately started the cargo operation. The discharging operation works overnight. They only have stoppages during mealtime and changing of working men, and sometimes the unavailability of trucks or some equipment maintenance. They are using this unloading crane which uses grab system to discharge the cargo. This is how it works. These two unloading cranes can discharge up to 9,000 metric tons or 9 million kilograms of our cargo in the span of 24 hours and they won't have any difficulties taking out this cargo as these grabs are designed for heavy and hard bulk cargoes like coal, iron ore, etc. Every now and then, we have to monitor the weather condition as it is important that we are ahead of the rain to prevent the cargo from being contaminated with rainwater. But the good news is, it is summer in Iran. That means no rain during the summer, not a single drop. So we don't have to worry about it. It's really hot guys you know I'm already hot wow. the weather is very hot we are all hot here you know to me need to talaga ulo ko sayo so the discharging operation here in uh, BIK guys is sometimes slow as you can see they are uh, using trucks to receive the cargo Whenever a certain cargo hold is almost completed, it requires the services of a bulldozer. These bulldozers are also used for only grain cargoes. That means it's clean. Cargo hold number 7 is almost completed guys and the TV doors are down to uh, lessen the cargo residues. As the days go by, we are nearing completion on the discharging operation. 
and I have to make sure that all of our ballast tanks are already filled up. Hey guys, today is the last day of our operation and we are going to finish around midnight or at dawn. After the unloading operation is finally completed, we have conducted the final drop survey to determine the total quantity of cargo discharged. And the good news is, we have no shortage. In fact, we have more than what is written on the document called the bill of lading. After everything is settled, time to leave this port and proceed back to the sea but thank you so much for watching guys i hope you like it and if you do don't forget to click like subscribe and ring that bell icon for you to be updated on my next vlogs bye bye